Kanta. Ang dami namin. Pakiramdam ko, goal fulfill eh. Sabi nga nila, mas malaki ang kita sa abroad. Parang, sige, mag-abroad na lang kayo. Dito na lang ako. Masaya na ako dito eh. Kasama ko pamilya ko. Nakikita ko sila araw-araw. Nagkaroon na ako ng time na makasama ko yung parents ko. Nagkaroon ako ng baby, ng pamilya, sarili yung pamilya. Ang pangarap ko para sa business ko, lumaki pa siya lalo. Kasi kasabay ng pag-angat ng negosyo ko, yung pag-angat ng buhay ng pamilya ko at ng mga kamag-anak ko. Okay, so good afternoon. Kamusta po? Good afternoon. Uh, um, uh, lahat po ba nakapag uh, fill ng attendance, fill up po dun sa attendance sheet? Lahat po ba? Okay. Just make sure that uh, we have the sign dun sa ating attendance sheet. Yung mga hindi pa po nakakapag-sign, please uh, we we'll give you time. And... Uh, So, para sa mga walk-in po na hindi nakapag-online register, we'll be providing you with a registration form para pa makafill up po tayo. Okay. So, this afternoon, we will be, uh, we are very uh, lucky to have to discuss yung e the intricacies of e-commerce, no? Uh, sino pa ba ang... Uh, dapat natin pakinggan uh, when it comes to e-commerce but uh, none other than the number one uh, e-commerce in the Philippines no from Lazada and we're very uh, lucky to have uh, the lead for the vendor acquisition of Lazada Mr. Gerard Eskay and the lead for the seller tools Ms. Tartati Jomer and uh, the lead from the for the Lazada University, Mr. Uh, Walter Bilia to uh, discuss yung ating e-commerce 101. Okay, sige, we can uh, start siguro. Let's uh, have si uh, Let's give a round of applause, a warm warm uh, round of applause, please. Warm welcome for Mr. Gerard Eskay. Thank you, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Gising pa kayo? <laughs> it's so nice to be here. Um, I would like to kick off, you know, this whole presentation by showing you a video, and I would like to 90%. proudly announce. Actually, before this one, I would like to proudly announce that you all know that Lazada is under Alibaba, right? Well, now you do. Okay, Alibaba is actually a huge, huge partner of Lazada. And with that one, I am, again, happy to announce that Alibaba just signed a 12-year partnership with the Olympics. So this is, you know, one step closer to being super global. And now, just to show you a, a clip about the Olympics, please watch this. 99% of people think they are nobody. 97% of companies are small companies. 92% of countries are small countries. 95% of athletes are unknown. Small can be calculated, but it cannot be ignored. So, we have a different point of view on small. We believe a small character has unrivaled power. A small action can touch millions of people. A small step forward can set a new record. A small change can create a difference. A small corner can impact the whole world. A small country story can inspire all humanity. From small 
If you notice, the keyword or the word that you usually hear in that video is small. And the powerful line is to the greatness of small. Now, for this session, this applies so much for all of us, right? Because this is what we are trying to target. This is our vision. This is our principle to actually help small businesses to become really, really great. Now, I think, you know, I want to start off with, with uh, a realization that the future is online. It's already here, and it's here to stay. So let me try to urge everyone that you have to evolve. For me, this is really important, evolution. Because if not, I'm not saying your business is going to die, but you're not going to optimize your business if you do not evolve. So let me start by talking about a background in e-commerce, specifically for Southeast Asia. E-commerce in Southeast Asia. So, Lazada is the number one shopping app in Southeast Asia. The Southeast Asia e-commerce revenue 2018 was $72 billion. That's a very, very huge amount. Fast forward to 2025, we are seeing a three-fold growth. $240 billion. Can you just imagine? And hindi pa ang e-commerce Southeast Asia, to be honest. It's not like Amazon in the U.S., you know, not at all, not yet. So an overview with Lazada, for our revenue in the Philippines, it's $1.5 billion. If you convert that one, that's 80 billion pesos. Now, can you just imagine? We are, of course, a market leader here in the country. Our features are we have high volume traffic, about averaging 100 million site visits. You can just imagine 100 million site visits versus having a physical store of, let's say, on a good day, you can have 200 people visiting you. So the, the difference is immense. Strong social media presence, 28 million likes on Facebook, 352,000 followers on Instagram. And we are part of the top 10 most visited website. Sa top 10 na to, kami lang ang e-commerce platform. The rest are of obviously, there's you know, Facebook and Instagram, social media usually. Quick demographics, of course, it's about 60-40. Mas marami pa females because, you know, of course, females shop more. And in mobile, we are number one. So the mobile usage for this one right now, it's probably about 70% mobile versus computers. So when, when Lazada started in the Philippines, we had three main challenges. And these challenges are payment, quality, logistics. Now, let me explain one by one why these were challenges. First of all, payments. We started off with credit cards. And in the Philippines, we are known to be you know, more of cash. So when we, uh, uh, I'll, I'll get to the solution later. With these challenges, we have solutions as well. Moving on, the, the next problem we encountered before was quality. Tayo, pag nag-shopping tayo, pag online, parang ay nakatakot kasi hindi ko pwede ma-fit. I can see the quality, I can see the color, and dami pwede mangyari. So we're so scared, diba? Last is logistics. Philippines is an archipelago, 7,107 islands, high tide or low tide, depende, diba? So yun, yun yung problems natin. Now, the solutions, easy payment, easy returns, and easy delivery. For the payments, we introduced cash on delivery. When this happened, our sales spiked so much. So, maganda yung respond ng Philippine market. Next is easy returns. Now, yung problem mo na baka hindi kumasha or baka may sira, you can now always return it. And given, of course, big e-commerce, may mga review. So, syempre, before you buy, you can see the ratings and the reviews. Lastly, easy delivery. So, we have advanced logistics through hubs and we have a partner uh, logistics, which we call Lazada Express. So, we deliver nationwide now. 
Now, the million dollar question, why should you join Lazada? Again, I want to emphasize, um, just picture this. I want you to picture really hard. We have around 100 million site visits okay, per month. So imagine the difference. Imagine the difference you can get physical versus online. In your store, again, on a good day, like a Friday or a Saturday, around the game for traffic, let's say, what, 200? But with 100 million, just get 1% of that or 2% of that one. Ilang tao na makita sa produkto nyo. So, sobrang laki talaga yung diperensya. Now, for Lazada, we have the biggest campaigns and events. Um, you know, just I want to plug, we have the mid-year sale coming this Friday. So, ready your baskets na and buy. We sell at 0% commission, okay? Again, 0% commission. Convenient in-house delivery and unique seller tools and services. Now, for small businesses, what do you guys want to do? You want to you wanna scale as quick and as easy as possible. And because of that one, you know, usually our, our budgets are quite limited. Let, let's be honest, diba? Mahirap. But with online, it's actually free. You know, given uh, again, we are zero percent commission, and joining it, jo signing up is actually free. So it's no cost for you. Ang pinaka gasos yun dito is your time and effort. Accessible for everyone and convenient and very user friendly. Now our benefits. I'll quickly run down the benefits one by one, but I have my colleague Tati here to explain more to you later. But quickly, when you sign up with us, meron kayong vendor acquisition na tinatawag who will guide you for 90 days to become the best seller you can be. Diba? So we have someone to hold your hand and train you. We have amazing campaigns and events. Uh, as I said, we have big campaigns. For example, if you guys remember the birthday sale, we did so well, and now the mid-year campaign this Friday is actually going to be bigger than the birthday sale. We have the seller center. So this is where you fix everything, your orders, your pricing, your SKUs, so this is your, your dashboard. This is what you're going to look at every time. Now, this is what we call the power of five. These are our tools. Instant messaging, promo tools. We have free shipping, flexi combo. We have vouchers, product display page. This is how your page is going to look like. You can design it. We have seller picks. You have a store builder. For example, a store builder is like how you want your store to look like. If you have a physical store, but my design ka, you can do that yourself here in our site. So, you know, you are almost in total control of how you want your store to be. The best part about this one, if you miss some trainings or you have questions, we're always available online. Now, we have what we call, we created the, the Lazada University. And with this one, we have the seller tutorials. Every Thing that you may you know, have in your mind as questions, you can watch our online videos here. We also have Lazada partners for our seller services. Now, you can also hire them for account management, marketing, content localization, visual merchandising, customer service. For example, you have no time to handle your, your own online store. You know, you can, we have services for this one. Seller basics, again, very quickly. We have three seller types. Now, when you sign up, this is what you're going to see. You have three options. There's Laz Mall, Local Seller, and Laz Global. Laz Global is obviously uh, those sellers that are selling abroad. Okay? Laz Mall is our, um, this is where the authentic brands are. And Local Seller, this is our marketplace. Now, there's a difference. For Laz Mall, there's a 5% commission because they have more efforts here with marketing. Now, again, for a local seller, we have 0%. And the charge, we have a transaction service fee of 1.68%. It is 0% commission, but then again, we have transaction fees. But it's, it's, it's really small. For corporate, it's 1.68%. For individual, it's 2.68%. Now, the requirements. Now, this is another amazing thing. You can actually start selling by only giving your ID. Can you just imagine how easy that is? Just one ID and, of course, your account details so we can transfer the money to you. Now, for corporate, it's the usual corporate documents. Service fees, again, it's only 1.68. For every 100 pesos that you sell, we only get 1.7 pesos. Okay? Now, we have shipping. We have four types. We have FBL, drop-off, drop-shipping, and seller-owned fleet. 
So these are a lot of options. For example, fulfilled by Lazada is that we will, uh, uh, you, you bring it to the warehouse and Lazada will pack it for you. So it stays just as inventory and then sila magde deliver. For drop off, we have drop off points wherein we're partners with a lot of um, entities. For example, we're partners with 7 Eleven or Cebuana, and you can drop off your, your items there for the pickup to happen. Now, drop shipping, package your products, and Lazada will get them at your registered address. This is, for example, you have 20 parcels and above, the, the truck will go directly to you to pick it up. And this is for oversized parcels, for example, furnitures. Seller owned fleet, you have your option to do the delivery yourself, but this is only limited to the GMA area. So we're very flexible, you know, we can, we can adjust or you can adjust to how you want it. Oh, sorry. GMA, oh, Metro Manila. Greater Metro Manila, yeah. And then we have the official packaging, which you can purchase from us as well. Okay. Taking photos, okay. <laughs> so the payout schedule is every Thursday. It happens once a week. And yeah, basically that is the quick background of Lazada and why you should sell. Now, um, we would like to show you our seller stories, wherein you hear stories, true to life stories from, from our sellers who made it big in Lazada. Take it away, Walter. Tirahan namin dati, Oops, double Walter. deck, may nakahiga sa taas, tapos kami sa baba, ngayon nasa maayos na kami sa townhouse. Yeah, mga inspirational stories to. Sana ma-inspire din kayo to be millionaires. <laughs> okay, Tirahan there we go. Tirahan namin dati, double deck, may nakahiga sa taas, tapos kami sa baba. Ngayon, nasa maayos na kami. Sa townhouse kami natira. Makakatulog ka na ng mahimbing sa gabi at makikita mong yung mga anak mo, may future na sila. Ako si Monica. Ako si Jerome. At kami ang may-ari ng Ace Gadget Store. Ako, lumaki ako sa Isabela. Ang cycle ng buhay namin, magtanim, mag-ani, magtanim, mag-ani. Hindi ganun kahalaga yung pinag-aralan mo. Marunong kang magtrabaho sa bukid, mabubuhay ka na. Ako naman, nag-elementary sa Malig, Isabela. Teacher ang magulang ko. Lima kami magkakapatid. Sa dami nga namin, napakahirap ang buhay na. Nag-working student ako nung college. I do household chores, yung paglalaba, paglilinis ng banyo, lahat. Tinapos ko yung gusto ng magulang ko na education. I have so many failed grades sa school nun. I try my best na mag-board exam. But twice ako na-fail. Hindi nga talaga ako achiever na tao. Dito sa Manila, nag-apply-apply siya. Lagi talagang reject kahit office staff. Napakahirap maghanap ng trabaho. So, I try to find a business talaga. Nagsimula kasi yung business namin sa isang cellphone. Kumuha lang ako ng picture sa Google, then ipinost ko doon sa isang selling site. Tapos biglang may nag-inquire. Napakahirap paniwala, mayroong bibili sa'yo online. Year 2017, nung pumasok kami with Lazada, Boom! Ang first sale namin sa Lazada, first month, 120,000. Before Lazada, napakahirap ng tao magtiwala online. Pero pag sinabing, may store po kami with Lazada, oh, sa Lazada din pala kayo. So yung, yung confidence nung bumibili, pag narinig ang word na Lazada, andoon. Lazada is not just a platform, it is a helping hand to every seller who wants their business to grow big, bigger, the biggest. Dinagdagan namin from laptop, nagkaroon na ng mouse, nagkaroon na ng mga computer accessories, cables, power bank. Right now, with Lazada, we're having a sales of 100 to 150,000 pesos daily. Na average po ay 4 to 5 million monthly. Now we have two branches, which is Eton Centris and Liana Central Mall Alabang branch. 60% of our sales comes from Lazada monthly. Combine mo yung tatlog store, ganun kalakas si Lazada. 
with our good sales, kumukuha kami ng mga rice field. Para makatulong din sa mga tao doon. Alam namin kasi ang hirap ng buhay, lalo na sa probinsya. Kaya pag uwi namin doon, namimigay kami ng mga shirts, namimigay kami ng para sa mga magsasakan, para magamit nila sa bukid. Nakaka-proud. Kasi it's really a miracle. Kasi kung hindi namin napagdaanan at napagtagumpayan yung mga trials pa lang noon, siguro wala din kami ngayon. Masaya na nakikita mo na may isang tao na nakatulong pa sa kanya because of the blessing that you receive. Oh, di ba? Sabi nga ni Ma'am, boom! <laughs> Nagulat siya because she, she never expected it. So again, I tell you, what's, what's it gonna cost you? Nothing, just your time and your effort. Um, before I turn over the mic to Tati, who will discuss more about Seller Tools, I just urge you, okay? I hope I put this in all your minds, that you have to evolve. And again, if you want to scale quickly and with no cost at all, online is the way to go. Okay, now um, I'd like to introduce Tati, who is our head of Seller Tools. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Tati Ziomer. I'm the head of Seller Tools and Services. So Lazada is not just a platform, right? We, when you join Lazada, what we'll do is actually give you as well tools services that will help you either run, grow, or empower, or even transform your business. So before we start, quick raise of hand. Who has like a physical store right now? We have a few. Who sells online already? Whether like, you know, um, eBay, um, OLX, Carousel, so the different platforms. Well, we have a few. So I think what I'll discuss now, these are some of the tools that Lazada offers our seller. It's for free. Um, but keep in mind, it's also, it doesn't just apply for Lazada. It applies to any online store. So these are some of the basics. When you start your um, online store, these are the things that you have to keep in mind. So in Lazada, we have um, what we teach our sellers. We have what we call the power of five. So these are the five basic tools that really makes a difference when you start your online store. So they're really meant to grow your business, to maximize your sales. First, we have promotion tools. So you can basically, like for example, um, any given day in a month, whether Lazada has a campaign or not, you can actually issue your own campaigns or you can make your own promotions. So much like in a real store, the ba, pwede kayong magbigay. 5% off for today or buy two, get one for free. You can do all that for your online store. So all that, like G mentioned a while ago, we have what we call seller center. So all these tools are in that. And as mentioned, you can control the promotions that you want to give the buyers online. Then we have what we call lorry kit. Um, the Lorry Kit is meant to design your product pages. So just to give you an idea, how does an online customer work, right? Normally, what they do, they don't search for a store. They will search for a product. So let's say, oh, I need a power bank or I need a new phone. You will search the phone model, not really go to a Samsung store or you know, go to an Apple store. It's really the phone model. So in Lazada, when they search, they will usually land on your product page first. So what we teach our sellers, you need to make sure that your product page is well designed so that they'll be encouraged to buy from you versus from another seller. The next one is instant messaging. So as very straightforward, it's basically a tool for you to communicate with your buyers. So much like in a physical store, you'll have salespeople, right? So when, you, when someone enters, someone will greet, good morning, sir, ma'am, how can we help you today? This is the way to do that online. Then what we have, what we call store builder. So as G mentioned, in real life, when you have a physical store, you'll put up a signage, right? Let's say, um, um, let's say, Aling Minas Sari Sari Store, right? So meron kang sign. It's the same as well online. You have to decorate your store, whether it's like a banner saying, okay, whatever is the name of your store, 
um, putting up a sign if you have a sale or you know decorating your store in season right if it's Christmas you put a Christmas tree same then online if it's Christmas you put like you know graphics of Christmas trees maybe a face of Santa Claus and so on and that tool helps you update and change your decoration whenever you want and then the last one is seller picks so it's a boosting tool um, it will help you pick certain products that you want to be boosted in our search. So I'll explain more in a while. <clears throat> so here, there are two pictures of a store, right? Which one is more enticing? If you see a store like this, these two stores in a mall, will you go on the one on the right side or on the left side? Right? Oh, you right side, yeah, yeah mirror image tayo. So you're on your right side, right? You'll be more encouraged because that that store really differentiated from competition by you know making sure their products are properly or orderly arranged in the shelves they have some signs so it's easy to see what are the products being sold in that store versus the other one it's just shelves right um you can also like put signages to advertise your promotion so who may sell for the day or even new products, for example, new arrivals. We have the latest, it looks like a shoe store, right? If, it, if you have the latest Adidas or Nike in a shoe model, then you can put up a sign. And of course, your best sellers, right? You can advertise, okay, these are our best selling shoes. And if you have like a nicely decorated physical store, much like in an online store, if you have a well-decorated store, it will encourage your customers to stay longer, right? So, mas ikaw, di ba tayo? If, even if you don't have to buy anything, you'll go around kasi maganda yung layout, maganda yung pagka-decorate ng store. You'll, you, the tendency is you'll stay longer, you'll browse. Mas na wala kang bibilin, maybe you'll just window shop, but it's a good experience for you. Maybe later on you'll remember, oh, next time if I need something and I really need to buy shoes, I'll go to this store. Maybe not now, I won't buy now, but... If I need new shoes, I'll go to this store, diba? So it's encouraging brand loyalty. So similar as well to an online store. So if you have a well-decorated store, people will remember your store. Next time that they need something and you have it in your store, I'm pretty sure they'll go to your store, right? So from this, the one with the bare shelves, tendency of your customers, you'll go to a better decorated store, right? So how does that translate online? Online, all you see is a page, right? It's not like a physical store in a 3D that you can move around. The way it translates, it's a page. On the top, you'll have the name of your store. So in this case, this is Maybelline, one of our well-known makeup brands. And then you'll see, much like in a real store, right? If you go to a grocery, there are mga signs, aisle one canned goods, aisle two, rice or grains, aisle three, condiments. Similar to that, they have the different signages like, okay, you need your eye makeup? Are you looking for lipstick or lip balm? Are you looking for foundation or anything for the face? Then they have the new, like there's a section on new arrivals and then on top, actually there's, they're showing they have a $9 off for certain items. So it's very easy to navigate. So if you're looking for lipstick, you just click on the banner which says lips, right? And then if you want a promotion, so if you're the bargain hunter kind of customers, what you can do, you can click that $9 off to see, okay, what is this promotion all about? Right? Similar to a physical store, normally, an in technique ng mga department stores. When you enter, at the very center of the aisle, that's their sale items. Para y when you see, you'll go automatically, oh, sale, mas hindi mo kailangan, oh, because it's on sale, I will buy. Similar then here online. So you put your promotions at the very top to encourage people to check it out, see, oh, I might not need it, pero dahil naka-sale, I'll buy. Then you have, as mentioned, your category banners to make it easy for your customers to find out what they're looking for. So the, as mentioned, those parts. And key is you have a consistent text, background, color, palette, use, and images. So as you can see in Maybelline, very distinct 
yung branding nila. They have very well curated um, photos and even like the color scheme and the palette. Maybe if I cover on top Maybelline, the people who actually buy Maybelline, alam nila agad, even if I like cover the top part, they'll know, ah, this is the Maybelline store because they really have a very unique branding already. Yeah. So for those who are like starting online, you might not have that brand yet. Maybe it's a, like a generic store that you yourself will sell different products, but this is one way to start like getting more customers and making you know, people go around, quote unquote, in your store online. <clears throat> so the next one, so once you've decorated your store, um, one of the other tools we have is what we call store feed. Um, it's basically allowing the, co the stores to connect to the customers. So who's familiar with your Facebook or IG feed, right? Most of us will have social media. What do you do normally when you open Facebook? You scroll through your feed. So similarly in Lazada, we have what we call a feed so that the different stores can actually advertise. Um, they can, you can post, either engaging in an interactive post, you can post, like, for example, you have, let's show, um, if you have, for example, new items, you can make a post similar to that one saying, okay, these are our new items that just arrived in the store. Um, others, naman, what they'll do, they'll put more lifestyle pictures. So, for example, that lady, then they'll tag, these are the different, like, makeup or even, like, the shirt they can tag. This is this shirt. And if you like what you see, what the customers will do, they'll just click on the shirt itself and they, then they will be directed to the product page and you can actually add to cart and check out from there. So it's a very, for example, in IG, if you like the shirt, what do you do? You ask the person, the, the mga IG social sellers, they'll post a picture. You'll have to ask, oh, I like this shirt. Can I order it from you? That's the way it works. Here, if you post a picture, you just tag the SKU as well behind it and people don't have to ask you. They can just click on it, add to cart if they like the shirt or the makeup that you're selling. And um, in the feed, there's also the follow button, which is similar to IG or Facebook. When you follow a store, it will show up on your feed. So all their posts, if they issue a promotion, if the new items, they'll make a post about it, it will show up on your feed. So you're basically connected to that store. And then similarly, so normally, like G mentioned, we have a campaign this coming Friday, again, July 12. Um, some of the techniques we teach our sellers, if we have a campaign in the store feed, what you can also do is you create a post about the deals that you're issuing on Friday. So for example, those are the SKUs that you're giving, like deals or promotions on Friday. As early as now, you make a post saying, okay, this is 10% off on Friday. What that encourages is people will add to cart. They won't check out yet because the price will only take effect on Friday. But it, it's already in their cart and ready to check out. When the clock strikes 12.01 on Friday, people will start checking out. Um, we also have a functionality, this what we call a lookbook. That's what I mentioned. You can upload a lifestyle picture. Let's say if you have a model or an endorser, you can upload that picture where they're, ma uh, let's say they're using the makeup that you're selling or the clothes that you're selling so that it encourages your customers to buy the things that that model or endorser is using. And as mentioned, some of the other things you can also post when you issue a voucher. You can also post about it saying, okay, for today I'm giving vouchers. 10% um, off, so all your followers, the tendency, they'll see it, and then maybe they don't have to shop for anything, but again, they'll be encouraged to visit your store and buy something. <clears throat> so as mentioned, store builder to decorate your store, the lorry kit is the one naman for decorating your product pages, but what it does is that it helps you make sure people buy from your store. And some of the things we also tell our sellers, once you've decorated your store, ideally, you refresh the look 
of your store or of your SKUs every two weeks. Because sometimes if you have followers already, um, tendency if you don't change, magsasawa naman sila. So you always have to have new content or new photos. So you you refresh it. As mentioned, if it's Christmas in a physical store, you'll put wreaths, you'll put a Christmas tree. So same on your online store. When it's Christmas, you decorate it. You know, you maybe the color palette you'll use will be red and green and gold. Um, you put like pictures of Christmas tree. Pag Valentine's Day naman, it's all hearts and cupids. You know, so you always have to be like, ko ano yung, what season it is. You, you, you make sure that your store and your product pages are like following the theme of that season. Um, and then of course, um, the other reminder. So if you have a store and you have a product which is out of stock, Ideally, you either deactivate it or remove it first from your store. Otherwise, tendency is some people might accidentally order it. Or if the system um, does not allow that, what you'll get is people will be asking, uh, when will you have stock again? Can I order in advance and all that? So ideally, just remove the SKUs with no stocks. And lastly, you add content to increase engagement um, of your customers. So what, what kind of content? So if, for example, if you're a fashion store, you can put like an infographic saying what are the trends this season. And obviously, ideally, those trends, you, you also like those kinds of clothes you also have in your store. Or like if it's makeup, what are the trends in terms of makeup, right? So you put that content to engage your customers so that they'll read it and then they'll they will start looking for those items. And obviously, if you have it in your store, um, higher chances that they'll buy directly from your store. So as mentioned, this is how it translates again into like an online. So as mentioned, there you'll see some banners with the best sellers. Um, you'll see vouchers at the very top. So in the other store, what they did, they put their vouchers at the very top. So all these, Things are possible within our store builder. It's a very user-friendly tool. You just have to like drag and drop. You don't have to have like, baka isipin nyo, oh, I need to have Photoshop skills to create a page like this. No, it's not. It's really drag and drop. So like if you have a voucher, just drag it, put it on the page. It will lay it out like that, that orange vouchers. So it's very, very easy. When we also have like templates in store builder. So for example, if you don't have a graphics artist, you can start with using those free templates. And then later on, as you grow your business and you develop your branding, that's when you start updating the look of your online store. You don't have to like have, let's say maybe, oh, I need to get um, like a graphics artist to design my entire store. No, you can start little by little. Now, okay, start with one top banner, which is the sign of your store. That's the very important one. And then slowly you add more banners into your store. So again, as mentioned, those are the different tips that we give our sellers and how, it, how you see it on the online store. The other tool we have is what we call instant messaging or chat. Right? So in a physical store, we're like this, right? So you enter a store, normally, you know, sales people will already greet you, good morning, good afternoon, and then you'll ask. So like, this lady is looking for, can you help me find this shirt in medium? If no one, like, none of the sales people talk to her, maybe she'll wait a few minutes. But if no one still assists, what's the tendency? You just walk out of the store and go to another store. Like, hmm, pangat ng customer service dito, lipat na lang ako sa ibang store, right? So what we don't, we don't want that to happen in an online store. Especially in online, you don't see the customer face to face. So the only way for them to communicate to you is via instant messaging. Again, it's very similar to, you're familiar with WhatsApp, Viber, FB Messenger, so it's, Something very similar to that, except it's linked in your store. Again, accessible via the seller center. And when people chat you, it shows up there and you just reply. So let, let's say 
this lady chatted you, do you have this shirt in medium? Then using the tool, you can reply, good morning, ma'am, yes, we have this in medium. Or for example, wala siya in medium, maybe you can say, I'm sorry, ma'am, in this color, out of stock na po yung medium. Maybe in this other color, we still have medium, right? So notice the difference then in the way those two responses sounded. Yung isa parang sinabi lang niya, no, ma'am, walang medium, period. The other one, walang medium, in that style or color that the person is asking, but sinabi niya na cross shell siya. Na, ma'am, I'm sorry, walang medium in this um, color or this style, but in other styles, there is medium. So I think that's very applicable online and even offline. In a physical store, you should train your salespeople, right? Na dapat hindi pwedeng yung yes or no lang yung answer, kasi minsan magagalit din. Ano ba to? Ayo kung bigyan ng pansin or nakainis na to, feeling niya hindi ako bibili, alis na nga ako, di ba? That kind of feeling. So you really have to engage your customers even online via the via our chat. <clears throat> so if you chat them, most likely they'll buy again from your store. The other tool that we also have is what we call seller picks. Um, so have you tried buying on Lazada? Hopefully yes. When you search something, how many pages of search result will be there? There will be maybe 10, 20, sobrang dami, right? And how many of the pages will you actually check? Maybe the first two, hanggang five, si ma'am, hanggang five pages, ang tiyaga, ako maybe two. So if, yours, if your product is not in the first two pages of the search result, most likely, hindi na makikita nung customer yon kasi hindi na, hindi na sila abot on the third, the fourth, or the fifth page, right? So this tool, um, we use it to reward our good sellers. So our sellers who provide good customer service, good uh, fulfillment rate. So we have a certain criteria. If you fulfill that criteria, you will get allocation for boosting. Because obviously, we only want sellers who have good performance to boost their products. We don't want naman some seller na hindi nagfo-fulfill on time tapos papaboost pa namin yung product niya, right? So we want the good sellers to increase visibility and increase traffic to their product. So as mentioned, if you fulfill those criteria, you can boost um, depending on, your, on the size of your store. It could be three products. Some of the sellers, the bigger sellers, will get all the way to nine products. So that's a lot because when you boost your products, they will place higher on search. So it's... Similar to like a physical store, if you have seller picks, what you do, you have a sales agent, like if you ask, oh, I'm looking for running shoes, what can you recommend? <clears throat> the sales clerk will say, oh, these are our top selling running shoes. So similarly, online, when you search running shoes, if you boosted the running shoes you're selling, it will appear maybe on page one or two of the search results. So it increases the traffic to your product. The other tools, as I mentioned, promotional tools. I'm sure you're all familiar with this. Like if you go to a bazaar, the batatawad tayo, parang kanya sabi ng magkano to? 100 pesos. Pwede bang 90 pesos na lang or 80 pesos na lang, right? Or pwede pagbumili ako ng dalawa, magkani last price, ba? Parang instead of two, two, two for 200, pwede bang two for 150? Ganon. So these are the ways we translate that physical act of parang bargaining in a physical store or, you know, into online. So you can give promotional tools. So what you can do, if it's, as mentioned, 100, you can make a promotional tool saying if you buy two, you get 50%, oh, sorry, 50 pesos off. So parang how, you know, how people bargain offline. Same feeling that they will get uh, parang satisfaction, oh, naka, naka mura ko or nakatawad ako dito. In terms of promotions, we have different ways of giving promotions. Number one is free shipping. So as mentioned, in an online environment, one of the things people will look at is the shipping fee. Um, what people, so for example, kasi there's a 50 pesos shipping fee. Isipin, most people will think, ah, ang mahal naman 50 pesos, pupunta na lang ako ng mall. But what they don't maybe see is if they go to the mall, they actually commute or kung magda-drive sila yung gas. Pagdating mo sa mall, 
Oh, maybe magmemeryenda pa ako, ganyan. So, dagdag gastos pa yun. So, they don't see that part of, you know, bakit online may shipping fee, pero in real life, wala namang shipping fee. But, you know, it translates in different aspects. It's the gas, it's the fee for the taxi, for commuting, right? But online, they only see free, they only see shipping fee. So, what we give our sellers, we empower them. If you can give free shipping, we ask our sellers online to give free shipping. Um, we know it comes at a cost, so uh, the sellers need to be able to calculate how much is our price, how much is my margin, can I afford the shipping fee for this one, can I afford to shoulder it. Yeah. The advantage it gives, we have a filter in the app that you can search for items. If I search, for example, running shoes, I can do an extra filter for those with free shipping. So, and then there's also that green truck which says free shipping. And what we've seen is that customer behavior is that they'll click on the ones with the free shipping to check out. Because, again, it's that feeling of, ah, mas makakatipid ako kasi here I have free shipping versus the same product na walang free shipping. Um, and again, when we, tell, when we educate our sellers, we have different shipping fees, obviously. Pag papuntang Mindanao and you're in Metro Manila, mas mahal yung shipping fee. So what we tell our sellers, 76% of the orders actually come from GMA Luzon. So you can actually control the settings of your free shipping. Pwede mong sabihin, free shipping lang ako pag sa GMA or pag GMA and Luzon. Pag Visayas Mindanao, medyo mahal na I let the customers pay for the shipping fee. So pwedeng ganon. It really depends on you, on your products that you sell, do you have margins to cover the shipping fee? <clears throat> the other kind of promotional tool naman is what we call a flexi combo. So this one naman, this is what we say na para, okay, buy one, or buy two, let's say buy two, get 10 pesos off, pag buy three, get 30 pesos, buy five and above, get 50 pesos. So you can do different tiers of discount. So again, the other, the big advantage of this one, when you're in the product page, they'll actually see all the different like products linked to that promotion. So let's say you have like five different shirts. Pwede silang buy three of any of those five shirts and get a discount. So for our sellers, it's actually a very good tool to cross-sell. Kasi makikita agad on the product page na, ah, these are the different products that I can choose from. I just buy three of any of those products, it would be three of the same shirt, three different shirts, different sizes, but I get the discount. For sellers, it gives you more flexibility. So as mentioned, you can do up to three tiers. Na pag gantong amount, let's say 10 pesos lang, the next tier, 20 pesos, the last tier, 50 pesos. And better performance monitoring. So in all of our tools, we give you a dashboard as well. So you can see the performance of those tools. You can monitor, for example, your budget. Let's say I only allocated budget for doing promotions na 10,000 per month. So in our dashboards, you'll be able to see uh, how much of my budget I've used up. Na 5,000 na ako or you know, 8,000 out of my 10,000. And then the other thing that's very key for our sellers, we encourage our sellers to join Lazada-wide campaigns. Um, we have different kinds of campaigns. So our biggest campaigns will be like the one on Friday, 11-11, 12-12, our birthday. Those are the big campaigns that we have. And we really spend marketing budget to promote that. On a regular basis, though, we have what we call flash sales. So this one, it's a special mechanic in Lazada. It's a daily campaign. Um, so you can, what, you, what we encourage our sellers is join. You can join up to you, one SKU, two SKUs, and so on. All your SKUs in your store, pederen. But what it does is for maybe three hours of the day, you give a discount for those SKUs. And what it drives is that it's sort of like a sense of urgency with the customers. Again, mas hindi nila kailangan because naka sale on, on those three hours of that day, they end up buying those items. So this is what we call a flash sale. Another kind of campaign on a regular basis is what we call last game. So if you notice in our app now, there are different kinds of games. 
naglaro ba kayo noon yung may mga you can get a cupcake and then you can um, redeem the cupcakes into vouchers. So the vouchers that can be redeemed for those different games, they all come from this one. So again, we also ask our sellers to enroll the best vouchers. So syempre, we want the higher the discount, the better, the higher likelihood it will be like part of the last game. But again, um, what it does is it increases your visibility. Syempre, if ako naglaro ako, I don't know this store, tas nanalo ako ng voucher na 10% off for 500 pesos spend on this store. It's a significant amount. So I'll, what I'll do, I'll check that store even though hindi ko kilala yung store, uh, I don't know what they're selling. I'll just check because sayang naman yung voucher ko, I wanna use it. Nanalo ko in the game, diba? So that increases as well the visibility and traffic in your store. Yeah, so we'll show you, to encourage you, sh show you some of the last games that we have in the app. Those are some of the games that we have in the app and the points that they collect can be exchanged for vouchers. So for example, depending on the mechanics, it could be, let's say, pag naka 10 points, this kind of voucher. So again, it, all those vouchers come from our sellers. The other kind of campaign we have is what we call everyday low price. So this is for items 199 and below. If you buy two, you get free shipping. So the seller has to agree to shoulder the free shipping for those two items. And it's again, it's a weekly campaign. So if you have items which are 199 and below, um, you're able to shoulder the free shipping. You can join, enroll those items here. And you get a special module. There's like a, a special module for it in the app and the website as well. The other one is Slash It. I don't know. It's, it's also kind of a game. Um, you can, like, depending on the item, you have to slash. It. You, can, you have to add your friends. You can share it and ask your friends to slash on your behalf. So, for example, one laptop, you need to get 100 slashes. So, you have to share it to, like, 100 friends, and then they help you slash the item. And then when you complete the 100 slashes, let's say you can get it from, if it's a laptop, maybe from 20,000, Sometimes they'll really drop the price to, let's say, 1,000 pesos. Yeah, so it's, it's an engagement kind of tool. And it also, the other ways, it increases as well the visibility of your products. Because what the tendency is, if, I'm, if I need 100 slashes, I'll share that SKU to 100 of my friends. And then they'll know about it. Oh, this seller is offering this product for such a low price. I also want to slash this. And then they also have to share it to 100 other friends, right? So it increases. There's that multiplier effect when you do or enroll in Slash It. Yeah. So there, they, they share on IG, Facebook, Twitter, all their social media just to get the slashes so that they can buy the product at a discounted price. So some tips for slash it. So it has to be something buzzworthy. So ideally, it's a top selling item. A lot of the cases, if you check now, it's mga electronics item. They're very popular for slash it. Um, how can I make my price point more competitive? So you can submit it for a low price point. 
You can also think of it as sort of a marketing spend. Um, and how do you make it stand out? So you can submit items if you sync it to 25-50% of the selling price, that increases the likelihood that it will be featured in Slash It and people will actually want to do the slashes for that product. And then our newest tool is what we call live stream. I don't know who, who has watched our live stream in the app, in the Lazada app. No one? Oh yeah, we have a few. So in our birthday, we had a Dua Lipa concert in Indonesia which we live stream across all the different Lazada ventures. On Thursday night, we have a Jay Dean, so James Reed and Nadine Lustre concert to open our mid-year campaign. We'll also stream it on the app at 9.30 p.m. on Thursday. So it's a very powerful tool as well. So if Lazada plus our sellers, you can actually do the live stream as well once you go through a certain training. But it's like you... So the, the stores now, diba? what you do, you do a Facebook Live or an IG story or an IG Live. Then what they do, you tell them after the Facebook Live, please go to my Lazada store or please go to this website to order my products. In our live stream, it's all linked together. So you do it from your Lazada app. You can advertise your products. You can link your products in, the Laza in your Lazada store directly in the live stream. So they don't have to leave the Lazada app. So it's, we were the first platform in the Philippines to launch it. It's all part of what we call now shoppertainment. And it's, so before we do like more social, now it's really shopping is becoming an entertainment kind of thing, right? So that's why we have the last games. We have the live stream. All these things are meant to engage your customers so that they stay longer in the app, they stay in your store longer, and so on. So yeah, so as mentioned, when you stream, they can buy on the spot the items that they want or they see. Um, we had a mid, oh, sorry, we had a women's festival back in May. We also live streamed a fashion show from Eastwood. So what it does, so when so there were models walking down the catwalk, and then the products that they're wearing, they're all showing on the screen as well. So if you like what you see. You can click on that SKU and buy it from that particular seller. So it's something like this. It's very social because it's a way of increasing your brand engagement, brand awareness with potential customers. And it's a very dynamic interface. You can advertise your SKUs. You can advertise even vouchers. You can show it in the live stream. And right now, we have over 2 million shoppers daily. So any one of those two shoppers, if they see there's a landing page in the app which shows which sellers are doing live, they can actually just, parish on YouTube now, can just browse, oh, I want to watch this seller. And then they can go into your live. And if they see what you're, if they like what they see, they can buy it on the spot. So this is a sample of that screen uh, for those who have not seen a live. Hopefully, you'll join, you'll watch the live on Thursday from James Reed and Nadine Lustre. But it looks like this. There are vouchers on top. You'll see the products being advertised. Um, the, the, the viewers can actually leave comments and likes. So what some of our sellers do, they'll make a contest. Like, oh, we're raffling off one of the items that we're featuring in today's live. And then you make a game and people comment and then, let's say, whoever gets the answer correct first will get that item shipped to that person. Once again, we'll show a sample of the live stream video. This is Phoebe from Phoebe's Merchandise, and she's one of our sellers who regularly do a live stream. 
This one naman, one from our brands, Tiny Buds. There you can see the products that they're talking about or advertising in their life for the day. So those are some samples of the live streams that we've had from our sellers. So you might be scared, oh, do I, do I need to get like an influencer to do it? Actually, no, like Phoebe, the, the first video, she's the owner of the store. And she's the one every Saturday or Sunday, I think is her schedule, she does the live stream on her own. So it, you don't have to get like uh, an influencer, you know, or an endorser. Someone, I mean, you yourself as an owner or someone from your staff can actually do the live stream. Because the best is someone who knows the product because you, you need to be able to explain the product. You need to be able to engage the viewers. So best is someone really who knows the products you're selling. And then lastly, so we have all those tools. We also have services that can help you. So it's Lazada Service Marketplace. This is for our sellers. So for example, um, you want to change the design of your store, but you don't have in-house graphics designers. You can actually go to Store Design and avail one of the services. So for as low as 1,000 pesos, you can get six banners. So you order here, one of our freelance graphics designers will, will email you with a template saying, okay, um, what kind of style, what kind of color, um, Parang will ask you to share some pictures and then they'll create the banners on your behalf. So if you don't have in-house graphics designers. Same for the product page. If you want more content for your product page, you can also order via this way. Customer service. So for our bigger sellers, if they don't have chat agents, they can get. So for example, um, Watson's. Watson's is one of our bigger merchants. They actually availed of the customer service this way. Um, because Watson's is owned by SM, right? And procurement in a big company is very difficult or hiring staff in a big company is very difficult. So they can't, it's so, so tedious to get if they want to hire a chat agent. So what they do, they just buy it on this website, much like any other service. And then they get chat agents for um, three to 12 months. I think recently they renewed for another three months. Financing, so for those who need extra cash. Um, so it can, depending on the amount, we have partnerships with banks like East West. So we have like as low as 1% per month. For Laz and it's especially for Lazada sellers, you can avail of uh, financing with our different partners. So for example, you want to buy more stocks because there's a big campaign or you want to improve your warehouse facilities. So you can avail of the financing. And we also have tax services and um, business registration. So for example, um, you want to start your online shop and you want it to be registered. Um, you can also avail of services here. They will help you get all the needed, like the mayor's permit, your business permits. If you want it incorporated, they can help you go through the entire um, SEC process as well. So all those services are here. It's really meant to help our sellers um, grow and you know, empower you to be able to operate your online business. So one last. Dati, puro video ko lang kami ni Mama. Ngayon, na naging seller na ako ng Lazada, Gumanda yung buhay namin. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-abroad. Lagi ko pa silang kasama. Ako po si Rhea Marie Madrazo. Ako yung may-ari ng Zerea Jewelry Collection at ZRM and Tar Supply. At ako yung isang Lazada seller. Pinanganak ko sa Leyte. Since panganay ako sa magkakapatid, responsibilidad kong gumayod para sa pamilya. 
kailangan ng pamilya ko ng pera. So, nag-abroad ako. So, nag-decide ako na mag-apply ng Oman. Ang posisyong pinagtrabahuan ko doon, taga-assist ng guest pagpasok ng restaurant. Ang pasok namin, mga 11 o'clock ng umaga. Ang uwi namin, mga alas dos na ng madaling araw. Ang day of course, ang beses lang sa isang linggo. Pag nangangigib ang bansa ka talaga, parang sasabihin mo na lang, tatawagin kong mama ko, ma, ayoko na dito. Parang gusto ko nang umuwi ng Pilipinas. Umuwi ako ng May 2016. Nag-decide ako na, sige, tama na yung pag-a-abroad. Palawakin ko na lang yung negosyo. Sa Middle East, mas mura daw ang mga alahas, mga ginto. So, sinubukan namin. Ini-import namin yung mga rings, necklaces, mga pendants, earrings from Dubai, Saudi. Nag-sign up ako sa Lazada, June 2016. First day, nag-order kami ng mga worth 150,000 sa isang araw. Sabi ko, oh talaga? Sa Lazada, hindi mo kailangan ng tao eh. Kahit ikaw mismo pwede, di ba? Kahit nasa bahay ka lang. Yun ang napakaganda ng Lazada. Kasi hindi ka magpapagod eh. After one year kong naging seller sa Lazada, nagkaroon ako ng pondo para mapondohan ang isa pang negosyo. Sa ZRM Tar Supply, uh, lahat ng pampapogi ng mga sasakyan, meron kami. Nakapag-import din kami ng mga magsan tires, lug nuts, lahat ng original lug nuts. Sa ngayon, meron pa lang akong limang empleyado doon. Dalawang pamilya ang minubuhay namin doon sa shop na yun. Every month, nagsiset ako ng quota. So once na na-meet nila yun, hindi lang yung mga employee ng shop namin ang tinitreat ko. Kasama rin yung pamilya ko, syempre, para mag-enjoy din sila. Last month, nag-swimming kami naman. Buong pamilya ulit. <laughs> Habot kami ng 50. Ang dami namin. Pakiramdam ko. Goal fulfill eh. Sabi nga nila, mas malaki ang kita sa abroad. Parang, sige, mag-abroad na lang kayo. Dito na lang ako. Masaya na ako dito eh. Kasama ko pamilya ko. Nakikita ko sila araw-araw. Nagkaroon ako ng time na makasama ko yung parents ko. Nagkaroon ako ng baby, ng pamilya, sariling pamilya. Ang pangarap ko para sa business ko, lumaki pa siya lalo. Kasi kasabay ng pag-angat ng negosyo ko, yung pag-angat ng buhay ng pamilya ko at ng mga kamag-anak ko. So that's Rhea. She was actually one of the sellers who availed of our design services. I saw her store when she was starting. So it was very plain. As in, the jewelry, yung naka-red box lang, ganun, open lang and then take picture, and then very plain. And then she availed, if you search her on the app, the last time I saw she had this blue mermaid theme going on. It's very nice. So for 1,000 pesos, she, parang she revamped her store. And hopefully that helped in her sales. And as you saw as well in the video, um, she was checking her store with an app, with a mobile phone, right? We have our seller center, which is both accessible via the desktop or a laptop and the app. So if you're starting out, you're a one man, one woman team, you also have maybe a day job, you can actually just log in your mobile phone, you download the seller center app and you can keep it logged in there you'll see all the orders coming in, the chats that are coming in. You can actually, parang Facebook Messenger, you answer it on your mobile phone as well. So as you scale up, maybe when you get a staff, that's when you start using a laptop to manage your seller center. So from Lazada, we really try to provide our sellers with the tools, the technology to start your business small and scale it up. So just like the... The, the video, the Olympics video, right? To the power of small. So really, everyone starts small. And hopefully, if you sign up with Lazada, we'll be able to help you grow your business. That's it. Thank you.
Hello. Gising pa ba? Hi, I'm Walter Villa. Uh, I'm the head of uh, Lazada University, the uh, training arm of uh, the platform. So, tanong ko lang, ano yung common denominator? We, I, I sh we showed you the my actually my my two most favorite seller stories. Um, so, ano common denominator ni Jerome, yung naunang uh, businessman from uh, the first seller story? I don't know if you remember the underachiever. Yung ilang beses bumagsak, marami mababang grade, but found his calling in an online business. And then we have um, Rhea, uh, na dating OFW. At first glance, you won't tell her. You, you won't say na meron siyang business acumen, but, you know, looks can be very deceiving, and uh, especially if you, if you um, combine it with, with hard work and, and passion, passion to, to excel, or passion to um, improve the lives of, of your loved ones. So, sino pa dito yung nag, uh, dadalawang isip na hindi niya kayang mag online business anyone so i'm here to talk about or uh, to give you a walk through on how you can start your business with lazada run the operations like reya did nakita nyo kaya ko pinakita yung video kanina is that because um, through the video, you'll see that she can run the business anytime, anywhere, just using um, the mobile phone. And I think everyone has mobile phone. So my point is, if you have a smartphone, you have a Facebook account, you can surely run uh, a business operation, your business operations in Lazada. Let me show you how. So, like what Tati uh, said a while ago, um, you can download the app through Android phone, phone or, or iPhone. Um, look for Lazada Seller Center Online Selling. So, at its barest requirement, uh, you can uh, run your business using a smartphone, take product photograph using a smartphone, upload it using a smartphone, receive your orders coming from uh, Lazada. So, Seller Center is what we call our uh, back-end website. Ito yung uh, Seller Center, command center ng, ng sellers namin uh, uh, in Lazada. So, receive order, order fulfillment. Um, check your finances as well, your, your statement of account. So, and then service marketplace, yung, yung uh, nabanggit ni Tati kanina na if, if you don't have any chat agents and you need to outsource your manpower, kung kulang sa kapital and you need to do loan, you can also do it using Seller Center via service marketplace. So, everything um, that encompasses online business, uh, all, all business aspects, you can do in your seller center. And uh, right now we have two versions, desktop, the one in the laptop, and uh, uh, in your smartphone app. So, nabanggit kanina ni, ni uh, G, the only, way, the only requirement that we ask you to do uh, in downloading or signing up in Lazada is Basically three, uh, which is given right now. You have a, a mobile phone, mobile number, an email address, and a valid ID. But the, the ID and business documentation can uh, follow in a much later time. In fact, yung uh, business documents that uh, um, you, you ought to uh, submit, like... Uh, mayor's permit, D-1, 
DTI, BIR, that can follow, um, I don't know if, if you um, uh, absorb what, what uh, uh, G said, when you reach 3 million pesos, dun palang niri require ni Lazada na magsubmit ka ng business documents. Um, anong, anong ibig sabihin nito? Kung undecided pa kayo sa online business, uh, meron pa kayong second thoughts, and you want to try this out, uh, wala kang masyadong kapital na ilalabas. Because, uh, you know, applying for, for these documents cost money. Um, so, kung, kung nagdadalawang isip pa kayo, uh, I think knowing that these requirements, as well as uh, the software and hardware requirements in running a business is napaka simple, napaka bare. Uh, I think by now, kailangan kumbinsido na kayo. Right? So, let me just uh, take you on the functionalities of Seller Center app. Medyo malabo lang dito. But here, you can see this is a, the, the products icon. So, once you have the Seller Center uh, app with you, you can manage your products here. Actually, this is Lazada University Seller Center account. Because right now, uh, in a way, uh, Lazada University is a seller in Lazada. We sell tickets. We sell digital goods. Um, every, every month, actually twice a month, we conduct Last Star Academy uh, training workshop. Yung Last Star Academy training workshop namin, these are run by trainers um, trained by Taobao University. So Taobao University is uh, another company by our parent company, Alibaba Group. And these are, uh, Taobao University is known for their uh, lecturers, especially when it comes to teaching the best practices in uh, China. And right now, uh, sino ole ang number one e-commerce company in the world? It's not Amazon, it's Alibaba. And uh, the reason why I'm telling you this is that when you sign up with Lazada, all the best practices of, uh, in, of sellers like you, in Alibaba and in Taobao University, those are being cascaded through Last Star Academy training. So, ito yung, ito yung in a sense, SKU namin, stock keeping units or products. So, pag sinabing SKU, ibig sabihin product yun. So, right now, we have actually four tickets. And I can monitor the products kung meron pa siyang uh, stock Ibig sabihin to sold out now because these are, these are uh, seasonal tickets. I can also see which ones are live and which ones are pending. And I can also deactivate uh, the products in the website uh, using Seller Center app. So naturally, like what I said a while ago, meron dyan orders widget. So kanina nakita nyo si Rhea naglalakad nasa condo niya. Uh, she's monitoring probably a sale. She can also actually uh, do order fulfillment using the app. Siguro ang, ang only shortcoming na hindi niya magagawa sa app is to print. Print yung shipping label. But if you're, ha if you're just starting seller and you're receiving one, five, or, or ten uh, orders in a day, Pwede na siyang ipakiprint sa kapitbahay, sa kapatid, or sa kakilala, or pwede siyang ipaprint sa print shop. Uh, this is, you know, of course, this solution is not scalable. Pag dumami na yung, yung orders nyo, may hirapan na kayo. But siguro by that time, meron na kayong pambili ng printer, or meron na kayong access to... Uh, other, uh, other manpower. So, in the app, you can process order. Uh, let me just give you a brief walkthrough 
on what a seller should do or yung order fulfillment process um, pag nakatanggap na kayo ng order from customer. So number one, the first thing that you have to do, which you can also uh, do in your smartphone, basta meron connected siya sa Wi-Fi printer. Di ba meron ng ganon? Uh, Bluetooth printer or Wi-Fi printer. So, in a sense, uh, your smartphone is your PC or your desktop or your uh, work equipment. So, you can print. So, ang, ang print nyo is the, the most important document of all. Dalawa. Um, number one, shipping label. So, shipping label is like your uh, written instruction for the three PLs. San i-deliver, kanino i-deliver. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, the other one is your pick list. Again, kung isa, lima, sampung order, madali pang i-manage. In fact, kahit wala ng pick list, eh, just kung ganun lang yung item na dumadating sa'yo. But, it's not scalable. Pag dumami na yung orders mo, you need to have a pick list. So next is, oh sorry. So next is packing. Um, diba sabi ko kanina, the barest minimum requirement is smartphone. Meron pa pala, uh, packaging materials. Because you can't fulfill orders kung wala kang packaging materials. Um, since kung bagong seller pa kayo, uh, pinapayagan ng Lazada to, to pack the items. And di ba, nakita niyo yung mga orders namin, di ba may, meron kaming mga official packaging bag. But if you're, if you're a new seller, your first 10 orders, uh, you can pack it using uh, a translucent or opaque uh, plastic bag for the meantime. But after that, we expect you to buy your, your own packaging materials uh, from us. Uh, most of which, all of which, are available in our website. So, napak nyo na, right? Napak nyo na. It's time to tell the 3PL, the third party logistics, uh, na pwede nang i pick up or pwede na, mag, ready na kayong i drop off. So, that's the time. You get your uh, your smartphone again and change the status of the orders to ready to ship. So in our system, kung uh, drop ship kayo, so drop ship uh, requires a certain number of orders. But for starting sellers, the setup would be you drop it off to certain pickup points. Saan mo makikita yung mga drop-off areas namin? You'll see in the next slide. So, this is a shortened link. Uh, Bitly, Lazada drop-off point. It's case-sensitive. You can take a photograph of it now. This link is useful, especially dun, dun sa mga far-flung areas. Because this link, once you type it and you get into this website, you can type in your area of business and see the coverage of Lazada's 3PL, yung serviceable area namin. Um, like, two or three days ago, may nag, may nag uh, tanong sa akin in our YouTube channel if we service Prosperidad in Agusan del Norte. I was really not too sure, so I went to this website in Lex, sorry, and, and typed in the area. And then, lo and behold, hindi pala, it's out of service. So, um, if you go to the site now, if you have a data connection, type in your address, whether it's street or city, and you'll see the drop-off point. Usually, um, it would be any of our DOP partners. So you have Shell, Generics Pharmacy, 
Cebuana Luhilier, or True Money. So, nakaplat naman siya. And the, the second thing that you have to do once you know uh, which drop-off point you can uh, uh, hand out your parcel or your package is to call the drop-off point and ask them their operating hours. Baka naman uh, working professional ka and 9 p.m. mo pa madada, mada drop off tanong mo muna kung open sila ng 9 p.m. Ask for the operating hours. Alright. So, what are the things that you can do in your seller center app? Add products. So, ang galing ng smartphone, no? Like, um, nakita niyo yung uh, presentation ni Tati, yung live stream uh, component of Lazada ngayon. Siguro, kung tanungin ko yung mga batang 80s or batang 90s, what will it take for you to broadcast or produce a variety show? Kailangan mo ng TV network, kailangan mo ng transmitter, kailangan mo ng full crew, production crew, cameraman, director. But now, using your smartphone, the minimum manpower requirement when you conduct live stream is two. One is the talent, which could be you as a seller. Nakita niyo si Phoebe. Si Phoebe uh, is truly a revelation. Si Phoebe, isa sa mga pinakamahiyaing tao na nakilala ko. Phoebe is one of my last star academy trainers. So, nung nag-present pa sa, sa, sa akin dati, sa Lazada University, trying out to become one of our trainers, nanginginig pa yung labi niya na nagsasalita siya. Ganun siya ka, ka takot sa crowd. But now, in less than three or four months, she's conducting her own live stream. Um, she, she's one of the uh, pioneer in live stream and one of the first seller to hit 15K views, 15,000 views. But the, the success did not happen overnight. May mga, may mga uh, time then yung first two or three live streaming niya, ang audience niya lang, 20 mga kaibigan niya. But now, uh, word got around and since the primary uh, function of live stream is first drive traffic and invite followers, build your own followers, second na lang yung benta. But um, as, you know, as time goes by that you build a follower and every time na meron kang bagong product, your follower would know about it. Every time na mag-post ka ng product, your followers would know about it. Doon na papasok yung loyalty, doon na papasok yung benta. So, going back, add products. Um, I think one of the more popular function of smartphone is camera. So you can actually, for uh, the few online sellers here would know, you can actually shoot uh, your product photo and upload it using your smartphone. But the crucial thing is that anyone can shoot the product, right? Um, what we, like what Tati mentioned in, in emphasizing the, the use of store builder or lorry kit, um, nagkakaiba na lang yan sa quality ng product photo. So, uh, let me show you uh, an instructional video that we produced years back, which can still be applicable uh, for sellers wanting to have a product photo that looks like a million bucks but is less than 300 pesos to produce.
All right, please bear with me. The connection is a bit slow. All right, so this video is demonstrating on how to fold a larger size photo light tent. Please identify the top and the working condition it's in right now with the zipper facing up. Now, turn All right. So like what I said a while ago, anyone can shoot product photo, but uh, the one that stands out are those with a good light good composition. So here, you can actually produce uh, your own product tent or light tent um, for less than 300 pesos. If you have uh, a discarded carton and you just need to buy uh, or you have available cutter, you just need to buy the, uh, a tracing paper or um, uh, an onion skin or Japanese paper to have to, to, to mimic uh, a soft light. So what it does is really um, soften the light so shadow less yung, yung, yung product and it's much more pleasing to the eye. Um, also, this, this, of course, this is only applicable to small to medium size products. Pag mga bag, kailangan mo na ng mas malaking uh, kahon. Or malaking tent, sorry. The f mo model. Ah, okay. So that's that's a different product photography course altogether. Um, if you're in Lazada, if you sign up, we have um, webinars or even face-to-face -face workshops about product photography. So. Um, we, we can train you or your staff to do a good product photography. Uh, the good thing, actually, when we did this, when we produced um, uh, this video, this was around 2017. Wala pa yung Alibaba. Wala pa kaming access to cross-border items. And now, since we, we have access to, to the, all the suppliers in China, you can actually buy a product tent, type in product tent in Lazada for as low as 300 pesos. So this is how it looks like. Uh, yeah, ito 300 lang. Yung iba 999, 1,300. But these are, this is really a good investment. Um, if you have a smartphone, the thing with smartphone is that wala siyang telephoto lens. Ang built-in niya is major wide-angle lens. But if your smartphone shoots uh, 4, meg uh, 4 megapixels or pataas 12 megapixels, 16 or 20 megapixels, you can actually zoom in by a post-editing software and then just crop the product para mas close siya. Versus uh, you will publish a photograph na uh, ang, ang 
in fact, a general rule namin when it comes to product photography, at least it covers the canvas by 70%. Meaning, yung produkto, ito yung frame, at least 70%. Kasi, be mindful that you are uh, publishing the photo for mobile phone users. Like yung uh, presentation kanina ni G, most of our customers uh, buy 85% buy from their smartphone. So, uh, try to shoot a product photo that's relatively big when, it, when, when placed in a canvas. So, take good product photos using smartphone. So, kanina nabanggit ko. So, taking photograph is just one part. Editing it, cropping it, uh, is another. And if you know Photoshop, you know that it costs $25 to process photograph using Photoshop because wala na ngayon yung mga pirated Photoshop eh, that you can buy in CD and install in your cell phone. Wala na 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 our, our Windows system is too smart for uh, pirated software. So, Photoshop available na lang via cloud. And the subscription is $25 um, per month. Could be cheaper if you're a student or a teacher. Um, Pixlr is a web-based photo editing software that you can use. It's also available in mobile app. Um, you can also do uh, editing if you're using desktop using their desktop, your, their cloud-based uh, photo editing. The thing with Pixlr is that uh, its functionalities and the interface look like Photoshop. So, kung yung magaling mag-Photoshop dyan, uh, will find the, the control, the interface of Pixlr uh, familiar. Plus, it's free. The most important thing is that it's free. Um, I discourage using other or yung mga popular photo editing software that uses filters. Uh, what's the rationale why I discourage it? Because when you use a certain uh, pre preset filters, Alibaba, medyo tend to uh, parang orange or blue, may mga tint. Um, the thing with product photography is that you must be as close to the real product as possible. And if you apply these kind of filters, mababago yung color. And from the customer's end, pag hindi nag-match ang nakita niya sa product photo in the website of your store, Natanggap niya yung item, mali ang color. That's reason for him to return. Product not as advertised. So, when you do photo editing, try to um, minimize. Siguro, konting color correction, konting fine-tuning ng contrast, but not too much to depart from reality. Okay. So, Going back to the landing page of Seller Center app. Sorry, I'm a bit faint. Na meron dito ng tinatawag na business advisor. So G and Tati uh, mentioned a while ago na you have access to analytics using your Seller Center app. Now this feature has always been taken for granted. But it's actually a very powerful tool. This is your business intelligence available in Seller Center. Ano yung makikita nyo sa business advisor? Visitors nyo, buyers nyo, conversion rate, page views, orders, revenue per buyer. And for those of you who has a background in digital marketing, digital marketing, um, this data is very valuable, especially if you're doing 
A and B testing. Halimbawa, uh, nag-upload ka ng medyo pangit na photo versus sa uh, medyo magandang photo. Makikita nyo yon in your business analytics, but just take note of the date that you upload it. Makikita nyo yun yung difference, whether uh, a good content, a good product photo, or a good content, meaning, kasi pag sinabing content, uh, product description, text description, use of infographics, use of size charts. Marami, marami. Um, makikita nyo yan if that actually works or not. So, um, business advisor is actually a, a more advanced feature of Seller Center, but it's good to know that once you have the competency to uh, read, interpret this data, it's available to you. The reason why I said it's taken for granted because this was not available when uh, Lazada was owned by Rocket Media. Uh, nung ang may-ari pa ng Lazada is a German-based uh, company called Rocket Media. These tools were made available when we were acquired uh, by Alibaba. And malaki, malaking, uh, we, we, we grew, our sellers grew by leaps and bounds when given these this, uh, powerful tools. Okay, so, is a fun fu major functionality in Seller Center, which I think most of you will be excited to join or, or use is joining campaign. Uh, in fact, we have a special campaign for new sellers. It's called uh, Hashtag Love Local. So, Lahat ng new sellers namin. The thing with campaign kasi is, uh, nasa front page siya. Nasa landing page siya ng Lazada. And you know what that means, right? Front page, landing page of Lazada is uh, 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 a prime real is digital real estate space. So once you're there, it's easy to introduce yourself, introduce your product, introduce your shop to your customers. Um, take advantage of uh, this kind of campaign. Kasi when you're a starting seller, mas importante yung makilala kayo, you gain followers uh, kesa sa bumenta. Kasi you go for the long run. You go for, for the long investment. Once you have these followers, you have a captive market to um, uh, sell your products. So, eto, uh, I can't stress this enough. Um, in the Seller Center app, you'll also have access to Lazada University. Um, this is our digital uh, learning management system, our digital school for sellers. Uh, you can, sorry, you can access it by clicking on me, your account, and then you'll have choices. Service Marketplace, Lazada University. So, Lazada University, uh, we have a lot, a wealth of learner materials that would uh, guide you uh, sa seller journey nyo to Lazada. Like from getting started, uh, submitting your necessary documents, um, so for new sellers like you, uh, it will just be bank details. Importante kasi kung ano yung registered name nyo sa Lazada, yun din yung uh, bank account nyo. Yun lang muna ang poproblemahin nyo when it comes to uh, business uh, documents. Pag kumita na kayo in 3 million, whether if it's within one month, six months, or one year, or two years, that's only the time when we will require you to submit your uh, DTI, mayor's permit, etc. So, listing product, maximizing sales. Uh, dito, dito papasok yung diniscuss ni Tati kanina. Most of our, all of our seller tools will be on maximizing sales. Order fulfillment. This is where you will find our packaging guidelines um, as well as basic shipping structure or shipping uh, information like 
the types of fulfillment that we have. Ano yung nabanggit ko kanina? Drop ship and drop off point. So finance, we have tutorial on finance also, how to read your SOA or statement of account. Uh, katulad ng sabi ni G kanina, ang payout namin, dati ha, dati, nag-start yan monthly, bi-weekly, and now we pay our sellers on a weekly basis. Uh, streamlining operations, this is more uh, tutorials on how to do warehousing, how to do uh, cycle counts. Me medyo advanced level na. And then agreements and, and policy. We recently launched um, a revised seller policies um, for early this year. So seller policies tackle on uh, uh, fair trade practices in e-commerce like this is where you'll find uh, mga infringement, copyright infringement. Like, just to give you an example, if, what's your name, ma'am? Cora. If Cora, using my tips that she learned just this afternoon, nag-effort siya to produce a very good product photo. Kaso, kinopia lang ni? Um, Clarice. Kinopia lang ni Clarice. Kinat Ang dali lang eh, di ba? It's easy. You just, you only need to cut and you, you can just cut and paste the photo. Eh, nag-spend si Cora ng resources, hiring photographers, hiring uh, models or, ta or talents to produce a very good product photo. Kinopia lang ng, ng isa dyan. Bawal yon. So, that's part of our, our policy. So, I think that's it. Um, the only uh, key takeaway that I want to impart with you is that it's easy to sign up with us, but it takes a little extra effort to succeed in Lazada. But it all starts in getting the proper knowledge. And I think uh, the point that you're here, you're interested, um, in our presentation, you're here and, and sat for two or three hours listening on uh, the merits of e-commerce is one step in becoming like Jerome and Andrea, in becoming uh, one of our successful seller stories. So, ano yung, ano yung kailangan to sign up in Seller Center? Number one, Mobile number. Number two? Pang pwede pong ID. Uh, ano yung isa? Email address, right? So if you have it now, you can actually uh, go to Google Play and, and search for Seller Center. If you want to know more about e-commerce, you can take our onboarding course. It's actually a, a recent recently launched on onboarding video course. Just to give you a brief background, we used to do one day of face-to-face -face workshop telling us, te telling sellers about uh, the, the seller journey in, in Lazada. One day, imagine, mamamasahe ka. There was one time in early this year in, in January, we're, we're very concerned uh, for our sellers. Eh. The notice namin, kasi nga naman, when we conduct trainings face-to-face, -face, madalas dun sa BGC, sa head office namin. Eh, medyo malayo for most of our sellers. So we found a very neutral place. Malapit sa QC, malapit sa Makati, malapit sa San Juan. San Juan. So we conducted a training in Mega Mall. And just to make sure that our, our sellers can come, ginawa namin Saturday. Kaya lang, nakakasama ng loob. Kasi out of the 150 na nag-register, 60 lang ang pumunta. And nag-rent kami ng place. 
nag-rent kami na nag nag uh, we provided uh, meals and snacks. So what I'm driving at is on a regular or traditional channel, onboarding will take you one full day to take and know the basics of e-commerce. Now, you can do it in less than two hours. One hour and 40 minutes of 11 modules uh, teaching you the rudiments of e-commerce from uploading your product, decorating your shop, uh, fulfilling your orders, uh, doing packaging, reading uh, your statement of account, and learning about a variety of channels to uh, get in touch with us, such as Partner Support Center, Lazada University, and Seller Policies. So, one hour and 40 minutes. Mas maikli pa sa Avengers Endgame. Diba? <laughs> so, uh, the first thing that you need to do when you sign up with us, take the onboarding video course. So, uh, ito yung um, landing page ng Lazada onboarding video. Uh, let me show you how uh, we presented it. Actually, we tapped uh, nine subject matter experts um, who are, you know, authority in their department or in their field uh, to discuss and, and, and facilitate and run tutorials on uh, specific subjects such as uh, interface of seller center, completing your requirements, um, improving product quality index, intro to seller tools, yung diniscuss ni Tati kanina, fulfill orders like a pro, which I discussed partially, um, new packaging guidelines, understanding your statement of account, getting to know partner support center, and understanding seller policies. Let me play you the first module. Welcome to Lazada University. I am Osilito Martin, a senior trainer of Lazada University, the platform's training arm for sellers. In this video, you will learn a few amazing facts about Lazada, the number one online shopping platform in the Philippines. First of all, I would like to say congratulations for taking the first step in becoming a full-fledged Lazada seller. We are glad to have you on board. When we talk about Lazada, we talk about an e-commerce pioneer that's been dominating the market in Southeast Asia since 2012. It offers an end-to-end -end ecosystem for over 3,000 brands and sellers of different sizes. Lazada is present in six countries, Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines with regional headquarters in Singapore. Powered by a wide range of marketing, data, and service solutions, Lazada sells to over 560 million customers across the region. Lazada has technology hubs in Vietnam, Thailand, and Russia. Meanwhile, Lazada Philippines headquarters is located in Bonifacio Global City in Taguig. Lazada leads the following channels in Southeast Asia. Monthly traffic, Brand search for e-commerce, social media, and app penetration rate. Here is a quick look at Lazada Philippines' shopper's profile. Our customers are close to 59% female with age ranging from 20 to 39 years old. But our reach is ever-growing, especially since we opened our Cebu and Davao warehouses. 
85% of our customers make their purchase through Lazada's mobile app, while the remaining 15% buy through our web store. Credit goes to recent mobile app innovations such as video live feed, games, and exclusive in-app discounts. Essentially, what makes your shop in Lazada special is the potential to reach untapped market that physical stores could not do. Lazada allows you to showcase your products across the country through the most feature-packed and seller-friendly e-commerce platform in Southeast Asia. That's it for this video. Please watch the next video. Thank you for watching and happy selling. All right, so that was Jose, um, our senior trainer in Lazada University. He's been around for five years and he will be flying to Singapore on September to, to receive our what we call legend legend award so just you know just in case you want to work in lazada as an employee not as a seller so we we value our employees that much actually that that's it for our presentation um pinaka importanting take away of the three session is this one. Uh, if, if you think um, or we pick your interest in becoming an online seller in Lazada, uh, please scan the QR code or type in the bit.ly link um, or you can take photograph of this slide and do it later. Uh, just Keep in mind that the Bitly link is case sensitive, so uh, dapat all, uh, cap capitalize yung S O L N P. I think yun lang. Um, we're now opening the floor for questions. So we have three subject matter experts here. We have uh, you met earlier, C G our head of uh, vendor acquisition and Tati, our head of seller tools and me uh, as head of seller training. Question. Let me give you the mic, sorry. Sorry. Low, low, low. Sir, the question is, what if na damage daw yung goods while in transit? Damage ng goods while in transit. Jack, you want to take that out? Low, low, low. So, sorry, I, I can't hear. Can, do, do you mind? Hi, what's your name? Oh, wow, so loud. No. I'm Z. What's your question? Um, what if no damage is good while in transit? No. So who's going to be responsible for it? Um, will the seller be responsible for it? Or will the logistic company be um, responsible for it? Or what's going to happen with the end consumer? Um, if, it's, if it's with our logistics already, uh, Lazada will be, you know, um, the one to, to what, what do you call this, to cover for the damages. But if it's on the seller, uh, of course, it's, it's with you, pa. for example, on the way to, for example, dropping it off. Obviously, that's, that's still with you. Yeah. So if it's damaged in transit, you can file a claim. 
So for example, so it's damage in transit. It gets to the customer. The customer obviously will return it, right? Kasi sabi niya, it's damaged. Um, so the return, it will go back, the, the item will go back to you. Um, normally for that, there's a claims process for you to file uh, with Lazada saying, uh, okay, this, we shipped or we packed it properly. We shipped it in good condition. When it arrived in the customer, it was damaged. So obviously, it was somewhere between the way. So there is a process that you, you, you can follow to get the claims. No, 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 man. There's no need to pay for the insurance. But what it will, what the claims process will do is, you can claim, for example, the, the worth of that item. You can claim the that price, like that amount from Lazada. So yeah, because so, it depends, right? If the customer, so the customer when they return, you have two options: either you get it replaced or you refund. Either way, it's gonna be a cost. So if it's really proven it was damaged in transit, you can claim back that cost from Lazada. Yeah. So, Madam, the question is, are you asking this as a reseller or as a customer? Yeah, so there, okay, so as reseller, okay. Yeah, so there is a process that you can follow to do the claims. Yes. Thank you, Daddy. On the flip end, um, Please bear in mind that if the parcels that you give to our 3PLs, third-party logistics, uh, do not meet the packaging guidelines, they have the right to reject it. So the tip is, again, go to the basic, master the basic, take the onboarding uh, training video course, especially on... Uh, the, the new packaging guidelines module. Yes. No, uh, sorry, medyo madam. Apat yung tanong ko. Pero first is, um, may restriction ba sa products? Like, um, wala? Or ba may, yung mga food items ba? ba like yung mga spices na uh, mga processed food, bawal ba yun? Or that's the first. Then, um, second is, um, Meron bang certain requirement for a seller to join in a campaign? Like, halimbawa, for a particular product, uh, kailangan ba maraming stock for that particular product to be put on promotion? And uh, the second one is for the categorization of products. So, halimbawa, I, I'll put up a store and I want to sell fashion items. Shall it be limited only to women's fashion? Or pwede ako maglagay din ng for men's? And the last is, um, nasa magkano usually yung range ng uh, rates nyo for ads, like yung mga seller picks and the likes? All right. I'll answer what I can. No? Uh, I may need to call a friend if my answer is mababaw enough. So the thing with Lazada University is that we are jack of all trades. Like, we have basic knowledge of all uh, the department that we that Lazada encompassed on pero if we need uh, deeper knowledge that's the time we tap in subject matter experts like Tati for seller tools so to answer your first question yes there is restriction and our product restriction list is available in seller center um, through the resource material available resource uh, page available there so our restriction list um, is generally the one cascaded by DTI. So yung mga poisonous substances, drugs of course, uh, medical equipment, um, body parts, <laughs> somewhere along the lines. Yeah. Manufacturer ako ng, uh, ano ba, spices na we sell ba, chili paste, ganun. Uh, yung mga ganun daw ay hindi inaalaw? Or there are certain risks na we should wash out for um, kung magbebenta kami ng ganun. Pero I've been seeing naman na meron, so I don't know uh, anong truth behind that. Actually, spices and hot sauce 
uh, are one of our surprise hits in our subcategories. In fact, meron kaming seller na naging millionario just by selling uh, hot sauce. Do you have anything to add? So in terms of what you can sell, so in general, anything that you cannot sell offline, you cannot sell online. So that's the number one rule, right? Um, second, anything that you also sell offline which requires special license, you need to have that license to sell online. So for example, um, prescription medicine, right? There's a special process for it. Uh, USB drives, I heard, is now also being governed by the Optical Media Board and they have a special license for it, so it, you also have to have that. Uh, even like radio, those radio sets, there's also a special license needed to sell it offline. You need to have that license online. Um, in terms of specific to food, uh, I think dun lang yung medyo sort of may restriction, more on the logistics side. So fresh food, frozen, we don't have cold storage capability right now, so we don't allow. But for processed, it's allowed. Yeah, so like um, spices we see online, so we have grocery. So anything that requires FDA to be sold offline, you need in general to have the FDA to sell it online. So I think that's the, uh, what rule applies offline, you need to have those permits, those licenses before you can sell online. Sorry, second question. All right, we, we, have, we have special, uh, we have specific requirements for uh, sellers to join a campaign, like um, very particular, like usage of tools, tools adoption, uh, certain gym. So for campaigns, um, there are two types. So one is the Lazada White, so those are the big campaigns. All categories will be allowed. If it's a specialized campaign, for example, Women's Festival, will only um, include sellers who are under the fashion, the health and beauty, so like women's targeted. So it really depends. Pag Father's Day, obviously, will pick certain categories that are related to men or dads, right? On top of that, we have performance requirements. So key will be your seller rating. Um, depends on the campaign. So it could be, let's say, 60% positive seller rating or 70%. Because what we want to avoid is that um, a, a campaign is something that you get really high visibility, you get a lot of orders. If we know that you're not able to provide good service already to begin with, we don't want those sellers to be joining a campaign because it will cause more issues. Na parang, what if may bumiling 100 sa kanila tas they can't fulfill, they cancel the orders, and so on. So we'll have, in general, um, campaign requirements on um, seller rating, cancellation rate. So you need to have, depends again on the kind of campaign. It has to be within a certain limit. Let's say, I'm throwing a number, pero depende. So let's say 1.5% cancellation rate only. Um, and then stock requirements as well. So especially for flash sales, there's a stock requirement. Uh, I don't know offhand, but let's say it's 1,000 items. So you need to have 1,000 items in seller center, which should translate to physical items for you to join a particular campaign, like a flash sale. So there are certain requirements like that. It varies depending on the campaign. So if, in general, for campaigns, we automatically already, in the back end, we can filter already. So if you see a campaign like that specific, the mid-year campaign, it means you qualified. So in general, you'll see, when you qualify, you'll see inside it all the details, like what, parang, what is the minimum discount to commit? What is the minimum stock? So yon. if you don't see a particular campaign, kanyar, you're selling men's fashion, tapos merong Mother's Day campaign, you will not see that um, campaign anymore because we filtered out the sellers already. Yeah, tapos any third? <laughs> uh, yes. So in terms of categorization, it's up to the seller. You can do multi-category. You can list like everything and anything under the sun in one store. 
it's your strategy if you want to have a multi-category store or you feel like it's better to have one store for fashion, another store for electronics. So it's okay if you have multiple stores selling different items. The key is dapat different items. What we police is the same, like several stores na owned by one person but selling exactly the same thing. So we can detect it from our side and we'll deactivate those SKUs or those stores. Yeah. But it's your strategy if you feel like um, better to do multi-category or dedicated store. And then your last question in terms of seller picks. Seller picks is for free. You don't pay anything as long as you meet the criteria. So the main criteria is you need to have a seller rating of 70%. You need to have an IM response rate. So you're responding to chat 85% of the time. You have at least three live SKUs and you have your store decorated. So those are the four criteria that we can see automatic, and we automatically check it every Sunday. So as long as you meet that criteria on the Monday, you'll get a notification. Let's say you have three quota for seller picks for boosting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Here, so there's the sample of a campaign. Um, that's how you see it in Seller Center. Then you already see like the minimum discount requirements. Um, Sometimes they'll put the stock requirements as well. But yeah, but that's how you see um, a campaign in Seller Center. Questions? Um, sorry, we're, we're, we don't have a, this is a business yet. Mm -hmm. okay. So we're, we're thinking of uh, starting like a food, a food related business. So processed food. I just noticed that in your listing, there's, there are very few food items. Mm -hmm. No, so I don't know. Is it because it doesn't really sell uh, in Lazada? That's one. Uh, secondly, since we're just starting out, we haven't registered. No, can we try out selling even if we're not registered? And then uh, there wouldn't be any receipt, diba? Right? So is that possible also? And uh, thirdly, what's the what's the delivery time? So if we drop it off today, when will it reach the the seller, uh, the, the customer? Okay. I'll answer the first and the third. G can take the second question in terms of pag hindi pa registered. So the first question in terms of food, I think it's just that because logistically we haven't like frozen, uh, fresh and frozen goods, we don't have the capability. So we have not been focusing on that. But this year we have the focus on groceries, so processed items. Um, I think it's just maybe the, the kind of item. Because, well, right now, right, if you need a grocery item, it's still easy to go to the, you know, just go to the grocery, get it. So I think there's still that kind of, you know, situation right now, which is preventing our sellers. But we're doing um, certain things to help the grocery, the food item category to grow. And I think right now it's actually growing. We've had... Like some of the major brands launch their stores, like Kellogg's and Pringles. Toblerone has its own store already. So we're getting there in terms of food items. The third part in terms of delivery, um, I think it, we always target to deliver between three to five days, end to end. So normally, if you drop it off, ideally, if you drop it off, at least one, maximum two days, it's actually delivered to the customer. Because from the drop-off points, um, our logistics will pick up, like it's a cage. Kasi. So they'll pick up that cage, bring that to a sorting center. So, lahat, so in the sorting center, all the packages, let's say going to Quezon City, going to Caloocan, going to the city, they'll segregate, then bring it to like those transport hubs, and then the, you know, the delivery guys will then bring it to the houses. So it's normally from drop off one to two days, dapat max. It should be, I think in general in Metro Manila. Of course, if it's like province, it may take a bit longer. But if it's just Metro Manila, one to two days after dropping it off. The second question. Yeah. Hi there. I will reiterate what Tati said um, regarding um, documents. So in particular, that's the FDA, correct? So. For, for the for the food, yeah. So I I think I want to reiterate that every everything you can sell 
offline. You can sell, oh my, you can sell online. But then I think this extends also to the documents required. Because for me, it's really for your protection and the protection of your consumers. So uh, for us, yeah, um, better be safe and have all the documents. Although we do not require, we do not file this on our end. We do not file the documents on our end, but we make sure that you have the papers yourself in case something happens. So again, it's for safety, it's for the protection, you know, um, and just in case something happens. But, oh, the, the registration. Okay, if you're an individual account, all you need is, uh, is an ID. Okay, but if you're gonna sign up as a corporate account, all the usual corporate documents have to be passed. That is what we file. Business documents, permits. Yeah, sure. Since it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it could be a cookie, for example. Okay. So do we need to put ingredients, FDA approved, or you can just, because a cookie has a longer shelf life, so it's possible for online, it can wait three days in your uh, center. Correct. So would you still require an FDA, you know, um, right now, you don't have to, um, how do I say this? You don't, you don't have to display the FDA itself, the, the permit, but you have to, of course, be transparent as to the expiration date. The FDA papers are for your own filing. Yeah, but expiration date, yes. Of course, we, we need you to put there so that the consumers are aware also. Yeah, Al although you can set up shop, you can set up shop without the papers, but then you just cannot sell the the edible you know the edible stuff yeah i think as a, as a general rule we dissuade uh sellers uploading a product which will expire in the next three or six months yes just so to avoid customer complaint or worse poisoning or returns Sir, po, paano niyo ina-address yung mga items na counterfeit o kagaya ng mga uh, just like coffee na pampaslim pero yung dumating sa ano eh hindi talaga. Kasi parang pinapackage lang ata ng seller tapos diretso na sa, sa Lazada. So, pa, paano yun? Sinususpend ba yung store nung, ano, nung seller? It's actually covered in our Lazada seller policies. Um, so what it does is we have a non-compliance point system now for every infraction of uh, a seller policy we reward you with a point but it's actually not actually reward no the more points you have the more uh, bad performing you are as a seller so there are point system there are brackets like if you reach uh, 14 to 15 points in a gi uh, given cycle year, your product up, uh, uploading capability is limited. And if you reach 24 points, uh, your store is deactivated. And if you reach 50 to 60 points, that, that's really <laughs> a danger zone for you because we will deactivate your store forever yes sir uh, my impression for lazada is uh, usually it's selling small items how about for large items for four feet by eight feet or 20 feet in length uh, is it possible so yes we have bulky items so if you check we have actually furniture um sellers right now i Sir, can I ask what category is that? Uh, okay, so steel. Um, I've actually seen some people selling tiles. I, I mean, tiles is small, but it's heavy, right? So um, you can sell anything. You can sell furniture. I've seen people selling tables with chairs. Um, obviously, the, the part where what you have to watch out for is the shipping fee. Because shipping fee will be calculated based on dimensional weight meaning length times width or the actual weight of the item whichever is heavier so for example we've seen sellers sell bubble wrap tas magtataka sila bakit ang mahal ng shipping fee when in fact 
bubble wrap is quite light. But if it's a roll of bubble wrap, the dimensions of that roll is higher than its actual weight. So that's the watch out lang for we call bulky sellers. You have to factor when you like do your pricing, you have to be mindful of like what the shipping fee will be. Yes. Can we state that it shouldn't I uh, the shipping fee should be shouldered by the buyer? And can we pick our own courier? So yes, so you can opt not to like give free shipping. So by default, um, based on the weight, so kanyare, it's steel. Maga calculate siya when I check out, I buy one from you. It will tell me oh, 600 pesos yung shipping fee. So it's up to me as a customer do I want to pay the 600 for shipping or not. So you, but you can opt to let the customer shoulder the shipping fee. But in terms of choosing a courier, we don't allow currently our sellers to choose a courier. We do it automatically in our system because we allocate it based on, um, let's say, pag bulky, automatically we have certain logistics providers lang who, who can do bulky, um, like a Ninja van, for example. So it's automatically assigned in the system depending on the size of your parcel and then the capacity of our logistics provider. So if you see in our seller center, I know other platforms you can choose in our system, you cannot because we automatically assign. Will it be Ninja Van? Will it be uh, Lex, which is our in-house? Will it be LBC? So it's automatically assigned. So just an FYI, we consider bulky items if it's bigger than a shoebox because the drop-off uh, uh, box namin can only accommodate a uh, shoebox un until uh, shoebox size. So for special fulfillment requirements, there are request forms in seller center for bulky items pickup. So if uh, you as a seller know that once you wrap your uh, product, mas malaki siya shoebox, please reach out to our uh, partner support center or help center. Uh, there are available forms there for special uh, logistics requests. Uh, for the bulky items and heavy items, should is there a standard packaging or should we create it? As Walter mentioned, we have our packaging guidelines. So for example, as of a certain size, we require you to put a wooden crate. So that's also another thing you have to factor in your pricing because if you're putting a wooden crate, that's additional cost. But it's all in the Lazada University's packaging guideline training. For products 10 kilos pataas, we require, generally, ha, uh, we require you to uh, wooden crate as a support. Any more questions? Um, I have two questions. One is, uh, how can a Lazada seller go about if they also have a website? Uh, probably, I'm not sure if it could be a website for selling also, but Basically, uh, the seller already have a uh, already has a website. And second question, um, I'm not sure if you already do, but Laza does Lazada have plans of um, launching sustainable or reusable packaging? All right, let me give you an example. Huh? Who know Who knows Kim Store? Kim Store. So, do you know? So, Kim Store started in Multiply, right? And then uh, she has her own website now. But do you know that Kim Store is a recent onboarded seller in Lazada? And in one day alone, how much in millions did Kim Store <laughs> earn? I think two million or four million. It's it's an amount that that um, she has not achieved just by doing her, her website. So to answer your question, having your own website and having a Lazada store, they can work complementary of each other. Like, you can, uh, you, um, your website can serve as a channel to promote your products in Lazada and also your, your store itself. Uh, since 
your website will its main function really is just for information probably company profile or product info uh, if uh, you, you should direct them to Lazada since I, from what I understand your website does not have e-commerce transaction capability <coughs> it's actually uh, if you if you've been uh, here this morning during uh, Google presentation uh, we're actually brewing a project together but the first thing that I ask Google is that um, you're giving sellers free website space but does it have uh, an e-commerce transaction feature wala daw so that means there's no conflict of interest and we can work alongside each other so um, so again in digital marketing diba merong poem uh, paid own um, pro, uh, marketing channel so that falls into own and it you know it, it could work alongside Lazada shop and uh, well just to add so if your brand.com has like um, transactional capabilities we actually have ways of connecting both that brand.com and your Lazada store together so in the back end you can you just have to manage it in one place so we do offer like more advanced technical integration so for example our bigger retailers like um, let's say SM they have uh, they're connected so all their different distribution channels their e-channels they're actually all connected including their Lazada store via technical integration which helps them manage it centrally so you don't have to like check the store if you're selling on Zalora you also check on Zalora and you know all, all the other platforms there is there are technical ways of connecting all your different shops What's your second question? Sustainable packaging. I think that that has been uh, brought to the attention of our regional CEO as well. Um, it's something that uh, has been at the back of our mind. But to tell you frankly, wala pang uh, official, official uh, stance or action. But, uh, you know, as, as uh, the e-commerce uh, business in the Philippines grows, uh, hindi, hindi ma-avoid yung question on uh, packaging sustainability. All right. There was a question if Lazada is, well, the reach of Lazada Philippines is just Philippines right now. So, the answer is yes. So if you open a Lazada Philippines account, your current reach is just the Philippines. But we're actually doing projects to open it up so you can actually sell cross-country. I don't know lang how soon because they will start actually um, out to in, but there, there are plans to open it up. So like if you have Lazada Philippines, uh, X years from now, if someone from Thailand searches and finds your product, you can actually sell to Thailand. But that's not short term. It's not like an easy project to do. And I think this is something that local businessmen, especially those producing their own products, uh, can take advantage of. Uh, you know, when, <coughs> when, we, when we open the, our gateway uh, to products from cross-border, meaning uh, supplied from China, when we open uh, Lazada, the first thing that uh, were hit were sellers sourcing out the items from the same cross-border merchants. You know, unang tinamaan. But if you are uh, producing your own product, manufacturing your own product, uh, that's uh, an advantage to you. Question at the back. Good afternoon. Paano yung tax dyan? Tax. So the, the tax is in your statement of accounts um, will automatically compute, let's say, the V8, the VAT, right? It's automatically deducted in, um, when we do your statement of accounts. So what you, and there's a process like Lazada issuing receipts to sellers. 
So, for example, 2018 will give you the receipts, and you, the ba magiging the VAT can be your input tax, tama ba when you do your filing? So you'll take those documents from Lazada when you file your taxes as input tax naman to your own filing for the current fiscal year. So there is a process, but it's all part of the financial statement of accounts that will give you so all those calculations. And we have our finance. I, I think if, if you're a new seller, uh, it's very important to note that you will be enrolled, automatically tucked in to our micro-seller program. So this should, you know, the, the cooperative, micro-seller cooperative, uh, will in a sense uh, legally represent you as a part of you know an umbrella selling entity i think it is noteworthy to say that we're the only e-commerce doing the right thing um, you know doing this legally under under a, a micro seller cooperative Um, you've mentioned about selling cross-country. Uh, my question is the other way around. What if the seller is from the other country and uh, uh, want to sell in the Philippines? Like, me, kasi OFW ako eh. And I'm uh, buying and selling gold. So if I want to sell my uh, items in the Philippines, is it possible for Lazada? So I think it depends, right? Uh, for us, a true cross-border seller for us is someone where, um, let's say it's based in China, when they pack from the distribution center in China, um, Lazada itself will be responsible for picking it up, putting it on a plane, bringing that, you know, doing all the customs clearance, bringing it to the Philippines, sending it door to door. So that's what we call like a true cross-border. But in your case, ma'am, are you, I, I assume you're bringing in the jewelry from Dubai. You bring it muna locally, right? Because so in that sense, you're actually will be tagged as a local seller. Because from your place, let's say, taga saan po ba kayo? Taga, taga Cavite. So it's really the the Lazada logistics will start from Cavite. So pag may bumili na from your jewelry store, you pack it. That's when we get it from you, unless yung gusto yung process is really from the source. Unfortunately, like Middle East, we don't have sourcing, we don't have logistics process. So our cross-border sellers lang are coming currently from China, Hong Kong, Korea. So those were the three countries which were currently enabled to do like really cross-border um, fulfillment, meaning we pick up from, the con from their, wherever they are in Korea, and bring it all the way to the Philippines. But in your case, I suggest you bring it to your place first outside the Lazada process, and then the Lazada fulfillment will start from your place in Cavite once you've actually packed the item for a specific customer. Um. Hello. Um, Hello. Oh, does Lazada require a certain quantity before you become a seller? Uh, for example, if it's uh, pre-loved items, there are a lot of items, but the quantity is uh, limited. Yeah. Hello. Um, first, in terms of pre-loved, currently we don't allow pre-loved or second-hand or refurbished, if it's an electronics, refurbished item at the moment. In terms of order quantity, no, you can start with an item with a stock of one and start selling. So it's as simple. We don't require any minimum order. Obviously, if you join a campaign, will want certain order quantity na, syempre, when it gets featured, we don't want them na after isang click, wala na, wala na stock yung product, sayang yung placement, right? So, we'll require a certain 
quantities. But for you to start selling, it's just one product with one inventory, and you can start selling. Hi, good afternoon. So, my question is about the payout schemes. Kasi nabanggit nilang kanina na weekly naglalabas ng payout. Is there, are there like um, requirements in order for us to claim for the money that we earned? Or yung uh, may minimum amount of sales ba na kailangan para mag, ano? Or like collection receipts? Okay. Alright, from, from our end, we just have to make sure or, sorry, from your end, that your account name matches the one in the bank. Um, and then most of our, 100% uh, of our payouts are bank-to-bank -bank transfer. Na. So you don't have to go to the office to claim your check. Those will be automatically credited to your bank account. Collection receipts. So, no, it's all... Um, so it will be paid automatically because anyway, we know the transaction that's flowing through the system, right? So kanyari, this week, you had 10 orders wait, worth 5,000. Because it flows through Lazada, we know it's worth 5,000 and that we have to pay you, let's say, minus taxes, minus whatever, 4,500. So we know it will, in your seller center, you'll also get an electronic statement of account. So you'll see there the breakdown. Okay, these are the orders that we will pay to you. So in total, 4,500. And then it's bank to bank. So it will go to your bank, whatever bank you've listed in your seller center. So it's all parang, with, with very limited manual interaction between the seller and Lazada right now. So we've automated most of it. Again, it's interesting to note that uh, as a marketplace sellers, uh, we don't charge commission. So just to uh, uh, just a quick distinction: when we say Las Mall, that means these are the sellers who are global brands like uh, Apple or uh, any any brands, um, uh, Bosch. So. Uh, those are uh, global brands and big companies. When we say marketplace, these are uh, the non-brand uh, sellers uh, like most of you will be. And then just by the yung terms of statement of, of account, so it will be, there will be obviously certain like deductions. So for example, if you offered a free shipping promotion, it means you're the one paying for the shipping fee. So all that, kunyari, nagpa-promo ka na 10% off, all that will be shown in your statement of account and whatever needs to be deducted will be like deducted from your payout naman automatically. So again, just to promote our onboarding training course, we have a module on reading your statement of account. So just to, to gain a deeper understanding on uh, how uh, Lazada finances work, uh, I suggest we you you watch that uh, module. Any other questions? Um, Walana, so I guess that's it. Thank you for your time and uh, taking the effort to visit PTTC and uh, join the the e-commerce uh, forum. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Team Lazada. That's uh, Mr. Gerald S. Kai from uh, the vendor acquisition, Patty Jomer, the seller's tool, seller tools, and Mr. Walter B Bilia from uh, Lazada University. Can we give them another big round of applause? Thank you very much, Paul. And uh, okay, we, I think we've distributed na yung ano, no, mga evaluation paper and uh, we we'll just like to invite you again. So uh, uh, this is uh, the MSME Week celebration. So uh, this is one week, so on Friday pa tayo, no? And tomorrow, ang uh, mga trainings natin, and you can have a copy of this uh, schedule dun po sa registration area. Meron tayong innovation management, uh, transformational business, and the state of the F&B industry. And tomorrow, we'll also have business clinics, no? 
Although we uh, suggest na uh, yung mga businesses, they come in with their calling cards para pag uh, nag-consult na tayo with the base, with the, uh, sa ating mga experts, eh, we have the proper, uh, you know, uh, documentation na talagang uh, we're consulting them for our business. So, para lang ma-filter po. Okay, so uh, that is for our session today. Thank you very much. And you can have your certificates. We'll just have a very quick picture lang po. May I request? Hello. Hi. Uh, just a quick uh, announcement. So, we, we brought with us our vendor acquisition team. So, if you need consultation on how to join Lazada, if you need help in, in joining, you can approach this desk right after our mandatory photo uh, shoot. <laughs> And I think that's it. Uh, thank you very much. So, uh, um, pwede tayo dito. Um, compress na lang po tayo for the class picture. Tapos tatayo ako dun sa mataas na yun para makuha ko kayong lahat. <laughs> okay, may request yung ating mga resource person from uh, Team Lazada.